Hello everyone, Excalibur here again. Um, now, uh, this will be my second Transformer review, and I don't know if this video is going to work. I've tried to upload this video several times, and for some reason it's just not working. This is the, I think, the third or fourth time I'm re-recording this. So, if you see this message, it's null and void. And if you don't see this message, it's a waste of time, so I don't really know why I'm doing it. In any case, I am going to be reviewing this bad boy here, Silverbolt. Um, Silverbolt makes his very first appearance in the Transformer tr uh, cartoon in the Key to Vector Sigma Part 2 with the other aerial bots. Um, they were created from just junk ships from that were just lying about and given, uh, you know, they were given life by Vector Sigma, the you know, the com you know the computer that creates everything. Now, this is something I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense to me. If someone could explain it, uh, please do. So, Silverbolt here was once a low flying cargo ship then when he becomes silverbolt and given life by Ve by vector sigma he is he somehow retains his memories of being a non sentient being of a flow flying cargo ship then he that translates to him being afraid of heights. It just doesn't add up. I'm sorry, it doesn't add up. Anyway, so Silverbolt is afraid of heights, which kind of sucks for him because he is a robot that relies solely on flight. Can anyone else see the irony here? Anyone else? Anyway, so Silverbolt is then made leader of the aerial bots by Optimus Prime to kind of give him something else to think about other than his fear of heights. So the best way to cure acrophobia, folks, is to give you something else to worry about. Don't worry, it won't interfere. Don't worry, your fear of heights won't interfere with the fact that you have to fly freaking high everywhere you go. Any case, so he and the other the other aerial bots kind of give him crap for this. Though, in all honesty, he's he's the most he's the only really likable aerial bot. He's kind of like that guy everyone knows. It's either your age or older, who is um just wiser beyond their years. That's exactly who Silverbolt is, because immediately he knows that a humans are worth saving and that that they should and you know B he realizes the Decepticons are evil and they're evil for the sure fact that, that they're evil this is something that the other aerial bots have to struggle with especially fucking slingshot I hate that guy I just want to beat him in the face with a baseball bat repeatedly give him a lot of little dings and then he would get pissed off and just step on me. But really, who would have won there? Who would have won? Any case, so, I mean, you know, and, for example, you know, he doesn't just go around saying, I know this because I know. He says, I know this, but you guys don't. So I'm going to, you know, let you learn. Which really, learning the hard lesson is usually the best way to learn a lesson that's that important. Um, you know, for example, 
uh, Silverbolt, you know, when the aerobots are talking about, you know, humans should just be, you know, left to do their own thing, Silverbolt goes, all right, let's take over the over Autobots. Let's do it. Why not? So then they observe Ratchet and uh, Sparkplug, excuse me, Ratchet and Sparkplug trying to fix Omega Supreme, who has once again done the one thing he's very good at, exploding. Yay, explosions are fun! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, I do like them explosions! <clears throat> Excuse me. That's an, an effect after working with uh, a company that works with mentally, handi uh, mentally and physically handicapped people. And I, I'm when I say that, I mean the people that actually run the business, not the, you know... Uh, pe physically and mentally disabled people that I took care of. Anyways, <clears throat> sorry, folks. Um, so they see this, and Ratchet has to go and recharge. And Sparkplug, even though he's really tired and worn out, he keeps working. And the other, auto and then the the aerial bots are kind of like, what? What is this? He continues to work on. He doesn't need to recharge himself. And and Silverbolt just goes, exactly. Now, um, and then, of course, in War Dawn, wherein the aerial bots are sent backwards in time to the beginning of the, uh, the Great War, they meet Orion Pax and his buddies, and they meet Megatron. Now, before they do that, they the other aerial bots have been admiring you know, the Decepticons, because they can fly, they can fly so well, and, you know, Silverbolt's just going, guys, they're evil. Oh, they're not evil, it's, you know, them dropping all those diplomats, you know, hundreds of feet in the air to plummet to their own doom, you know, that was surely an accident. <laughs> so anyways, Megatron kills Orion Pax, and you know Orion Pax's girlfriend and his best friend, and they take all the stuff. And the and the other aerial bots, especially Sling are gone. <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> Why did you do that? That's so wrong. And Sorbo's going. Um, I don't know. Maybe because they're pure evil. If anyone got that time bandits reference, please leave a message at the, at the bottom of the screen. Anyway, so Silverbolt once again, he's one of those guys that's just wiser beyond his years, and he's just a likable guy. Uh, he, I can't think of any reason to hate this guy, though I will admit he's very he's a very quiet person, and that's because he's very self conscious. Of his fear of heights, he doesn't think he's gonna. He makes a very good leader because he he's he's scared of heights, being an airplane. Would you know makes sense, I guess. But anyways, you know, this is the kind of guy you would want to know and want to be friends with because you know he's got your back, and you know if he, he's gonna look at a situation, and even though he's younger than some of the other Autobots, he's gonna look at a situation with a you know. With a good head on his shoulders, and you know, and give it some actual good thought, and not rush in there like some of the other aerial bots. I hate you, slingshot. Anyways, that's it for right now. I'm gonna be coming back with part two, hopefully. Uh, hopefully, I can get this video up and running on YouTube. Anyways, guys, take it easy, and if it's easy, take it twice. Later, guys.